Hey guys, this is Adam Parr with Transition Wild. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Earth to scout for an upcoming elk hunt, specifically in Colorado. Now, if you're planning on hunting in a different state or you're going after a different species, this video will still apply to you. However, it's really geared towards hunting elk in the state of Colorado. Now, we're not going to dive into some of the specifics or certain terrain features to look for, but really I wanted to show you some of the resources that are available and how to use them in the form of maps, species data, and various overlays that you can use. And we'll also dive into some of the basics of Google Earth itself. So let's get started. All right, so here's a short overview of what the video is going to entail. First, we're going to download Google Earth. Then I'll show you how to download the Colorado Game Management Units map. Then we'll dive into the Colorado elk species maps that's provided from the Colorado Department of Wildlife. And then we'll get into some of the basics such as adding place marks and adding a trail. So all valuable things that go into planning and digitally scouting for a Colorado elk hunt. All right, so here we are at the Google Earth download page. A lot of you guys are probably already familiar with Google Earth or have used it before, but for the guys who have never used Google Earth, I'll provide this link as well as the other resources in the blog article on the site. But click and download Google Earth, pretty straightforward. The next thing I wanted to show you is the Hunt and Fool website, and here we're going to download the Colorado Game Management Units overlay. And this site's also really great for a um, really great resource for the Western hunters, so definitely check that out. But we're going to scroll down here and click and download the Colorado Game Management Units map. Again, pretty simple. The next thing I wanted to show you is the Colorado species maps. So this page is pretty cool. So if you want to find information uh, in regards to any species in Colorado, this is where you want to go. But we're looking for elk. So we'll click on page two. And here we are. So again, click and download. And whether it's on the desktop or wherever you want to save it, uh, that's pretty much all we need to do for this step. So I've opened up Google Earth. And if we look on the left side here, we're going to see the Places tab. We'll make sure that that's open. Your folders and stuff in here might look a little different than what I have on my screen, but essentially what we want to do is highlight this My Places. And we're going to go back to the desktop where we have the files that we just downloaded. And we're going to drag and drop onto the screen. So we'll see them populate here on the side. And they'll load up. If we zoom in a little bit here, it kind of looks like a jumbled mess. So to make things simple, let's uncheck both of those boxes. So here's the state of Colorado. And let's go back to the game management units overlay, and we're going to check that box. And here what we're looking at is essentially every unit in the state of Colorado. So if you zoom in, you'll be able to see and know exactly where you're at in regards to where you'll be hunting. So for example, if you're hunting a, a draw unit, you'll know, you know your boundaries. If you're hunting an over-the-counter tag, you don't want to venture into a draw unit. Um, you know, so it's, it's important to know exactly where you're at at all times, and that's going to play in big to your digital scouting. So the next thing we'll look at is the species overlay and that's this Colorado Parks and Wildlife tab. We're not going to check the box. We're going to hit that arrow, hit this arrow, click it one more time, and what that's going to bring up is all the species data for elk. So for example, we're looking at migration patterns, summer ranges, production areas, corridors, winter ranges, all the above. So for example, I'm, I'm primarily an archery hunter. And let's say I want, I'm, I'm hunting in late August. So if I know I'm gonna be hunting the first week or opening weekend, I'm probably gonna to want to look at the summer concentration areas. So if we check that box, 
everything in pink is an overlay of a ballpark area where they will be at that time of the year. Now um, you can uncheck, um, you can check multiple folders here and you can look at both at the same time but some don't always have a very good transparency to them so I'm constantly kind of zooming in and, and referencing off of that but again this is going to get you in the ballpark it's a valuable tool if I am hunting rifle maybe I'm going to be concentrating on some of the winter areas or migration patterns and you can look at all different uh, species data with all of these folders now that we've covered the species and units map overlays I want to show you a few tools that I use within Google Earth to help with planning and scouting for a hunt. So let's say I, you know, it's kind of scouted an area. We'll zoom in here and I'm like, oh man, that looks like a potential spot to access or hunt or park a truck. I can click this little pin here and that's going to drop a place mark. You can move these around. So let's say all right, this is going to be a potential parking spot on this road. So we'll place that there. Title it parking spot and we'll click OK. So it's going to save it to the map. We'll see it over here on the side. You can check and uncheck that. And let's say, all right, I potentially want to hunt up by this lake. This isn't a real scenario, I'm just kind of picking a random spot on the map. But let's say, all right, I want to hunt up here. So we'll name that hunting spot. Boom, those are both saved. And the other cool feature that I like to use is this add path. So if I click that, kind of move that out of the way. I can drag and drop a path or an access route to that potential hunting spot. So if I click and drag and we go up through here and let go at the hunting location, I can again name the path. But what I'm really looking at is this measurement tool and it's going to show you, all right, that's 1.1 miles to that location. So good information to know if you're trying to plan a trip or um, a loop for the day. It's going to give you a good indication of what, what your capabilities are and how far you have to travel. Alright, that wraps things up for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, Google Earth is such a valuable resource for planning and scouting for an upcoming elk hunt. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm putting together a few follow-up videos that will dive into a few more specifics and details and terrain features for scouting and, and planning a hunt. So again, hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.